<clears throat> I went my whole life without getting injured. And then on May 2022, I thought, I'm going to do a backflip on the beach. And I separated my shoulder. Ligament that connects collarbone, top of the scapula, broke. Uh, which meant no boxing, no karate, no martial arts, no handstands, no parkour. Which, as you can imagine, might be detrimental. Okay, so give it a month, I felt better. My arm came out of the sling and I started going to parkour again. My first class back, I forgot that I had not been doing it for a month. During the warm-up, sprained my right ankle. Grade two ankle sprain. That sucked, because <laughs> then I couldn't run. So I was limping and I had a broken shoulder going to PT with limited range of motion. I always thought it was great that I'd never broken a bone. Still technically never broken a bone, but ligament gone, ligament partially torn my ankle. Great, love it. The ankle sprain got better. And I moved to Seattle in July and I started running. Every morning I went out and I started running. You can see this in my early vlogs. I did this thing on Instagram. I ran every single day for about three miles for like two weeks. And I was going to PT for my ankle eventually because I thought something feels wrong. Right, my ankle hurts while I'm running. And it's great that I can run. Fantastic. I can put weight on it, but it just doesn't something doesn't feel right. My legs would hurt. You know, I called them shin splints at the time because I, I went to get my ankle x-rayed. The doctor said, yeah, you definitely sprained this, uh, you know, a month ago. And I went to PT for about four and a half months. Once a week and then every other week for a little while and then I stopped. And toward the end, PT was for shin splints because I still couldn't do things on my hands. Now I can kind of do a handstand, but we're still a little testy, but I'm working on it. My mobility has gotten a lot better because of these injuries. I started taking running very seriously. I had always seen running as a fallback, but because of my left shin, it, it felt like it got really bad. That's the most pain I think I've been in when running. You know, the pain I'll talk about today, but you know, I feel a little sore, but it wasn't like you tap on the bone and you like flinch. Anyway, running became my default. And I read a book by Haruki Murakami. I talked about this in a reading ramble. You can probably find it over here. I talked about my shoulder in a parkour video. I'll also throw that in the list of things. And I also watched this anime, Run With The Wind, I think was the English translation. And I was watching that show and I thought, I really want to go out and run right now. But I was on this running plan where I walk for nine minutes, jog for one minute, three times. And that was it. Two days pass. And I walk for eight minutes, jog for two minutes. And I kept progressing. And that was in October, early November that I started that. And now it's February 11th and I just ran my first 5K. First official 5K. I ran a 5K on Wednesday. I run a few around this, this lake near me. But today was special because today was my first official 5K as we can see on the bib up here. I was 213. Too long didn't read. The shin splints were a result of a combination of me pushing myself because my only running mentality was a David Goggins Lake mentality, uh, which has its pros, but it has its many cons. And you know, my ankle sprain led to an imbalance and too much weight on my left leg and too much intensity. So I was running too far. I was trying to go too fast, too soon. And so I've been really monitoring my pace. I got a Garmin watch, pricey, but worth it uh, with how I've taken running. I, I've kind of proven to myself that yeah, it was worth it. I haven't showered, so I'm a little whatever. And so I've been monitoring my pace pretty heavily. I think I started going at like 556 minute per kilometers. Hopefully I can throw up a conversion chart. I don't know. I think that's like a nine and a half, 10 minute mile. And lately, so for example, I think I ran Wednesday evening. I ran a, a 5.20 pace, no, 5, like 12 to prepare for today. And my goal for today was to get as close to five minutes as possible to do around a 5.15 minutes per kilometer. I think I've been doing like a five minute, 15 second per kilometer pace, which I think is like an eight and a half minute mile or a 5.30. I want to try for 5.15 today. In an ideal world, I'd be doing 25 minutes, but I don't trust my shins quite yet. Cool, great goal to have, except, <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was the, the adrenaline from, from joining this whole group of people. I hadn't done that since I raced during skiing and even then I was never, you know, a great skier. I never really learned how to run. I was never on track and field. Uh, we ran for skiing when there was no snow, but it was cross country skiing, not downhill. For swimming, you know, I had, it was, that was never a group thing. You just, boop, you go. Phew. You know, two years ago, I lost a bunch of weight and I got really into martial arts and when martial arts was taken away from me, I defaulted to running, but then running was taken away from me. If I could run, then I should run because there are people out there who can't, right? And probably wanna run. And so that's a part of the reason why I run. It's already eight minutes here, but my point is I ran my first 5K today. Uh, first official 5K, first chipped 5K, and I did far better than I expected myself to. Far better than I should have. <laughs> I should not have gone as fast as I did. I wanna check the official time in a moment. I did check it earlier and it's better than what my Garmin reports. I placed third in the 19 to 29 age group. Average pace was four minutes and 52 minutes per kilometer whatever that is to miles per hour. I think it's like seven and a half minutes, eight minutes. Best pace was 238 minutes per kilometer. That was my end sprint. The last 100 meters, pretty much. They had this like turn and burn thing or whatever. Took me 24 minutes and five seconds. Average heart rate of 175. Anyway, 5K. I'm training for a 10K in September, Spartan race. Um, and I wanted to do a 5K because 
cool. My left leg hurts a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but it's a muscle soreness, right? My soleus is just stupid and inflexible and weak. <laughs> For Christmas 2021, my sister got me these barefoot shoes, the zeros, and then I got a different pair. I got running pair and I ran in these. So I ran in minimalist shoes. They're so dirty. I should not have worn them into my office here, but I think that's notable. When I first gave them to Seattle, I had regular sneakers, heel striking and yada yada and trying to adjust to these too soon, too fast. Definitely had its problems, but those are over now and I wear them all the time and I'm a big minimalist shoe person. I want to see my official time because it was better than what my Garmin reports, which I guess makes sense because maybe I like weaved in and weaved out. So I ran more than this is about to say I did, but the fastest person was five minutes and 43 minutes per mile. <laughs> Finished a 5K in 17 and a seven forty seven seconds. The fastest person in my division, I guess, was 18 minutes and 45 seconds. If you scroll down to uh, place 38. <laughs> Mark Bacon from Seattle. 23 minutes and 54 seconds and eight milliseconds. Average time, seven minutes and 42 seconds per mile. Placing third. That to me is just kind of wild. What is this 59.5 thing? You know, there's been footage intermittent throughout here of the start of the race, a little bit after. It's really nice to have someone in my audience, so to speak. And this little laser carved wood is probably the most meaningful metal I might ever have. Um, there are some meaningful ones back there, but I don't know, this was just big. You know, running a 5K pain-free in under 25 minutes. Did it say under 24? In under 24 minutes bananas you know my whole ethos with this channel in some ways is if i can do it you can do it too you know language learning is something i'm inherently interested in and i'm doing well when it comes to that as long as i'm consistent which i haven't really been coding is something i've been doing since i was 13 mess around with blender and there's a lot of things that i feel like i'm good at and it's hard to you know say hey you can do this too i can say it and i believe it but it's hard for others to believe that i think but running has been up there with art in the sense that if I can, over the last two years, I'm including, you know, losing weight and, and becoming more of a generally active person and doing parkour to a under five, 25 minute 5K, so can you. I genuinely believe that. Obviously there are extenuating circumstances and you know, maybe your sub 25 minutes is sub 30 minutes. I don't know. It's always gonna be up to the individual. For me, this whole running thing is, I don't know, a part of me is already like, you're boasting about a 5K, 3.2 miles, cool. Okay, but that's the that's the toxic productivity coming out. Last thing I'll say is when I swam or in the past during skiing, I'd, I'd pretty much always, as many times as I can remember, finish my event or the race and think, you know, I really could have put more into that. But for this race, you know, keep looking at my watch and seeing, oh my God, I'm at 503 minutes per kilometer. I got to get that down. It was really reassuring. And and I constantly kept running and I thought, okay, this person's my pace setter. You know, I shouldn't break this pace. And then I'd go around them and I'd be like, all right, all right, next person's my pace setter really won't break that pace. And then I'd go around and I wasn't racing anyone else. I was racing myself, purely myself. And it was constantly, oh, you know, I'm 505. My goal is 515. Maybe I can push it a little more. Maybe I can push it a little more. Ooh, I'm 505, but I've been running 455 this whole time. Maybe I could push it a little more. So yeah, that's my ramblings and my notes on my first 5K and all that. Gonna rest for a few days, not gonna run. And then I'll resume the 10K plan. <sighs> I'm just, everything I wanna say, I think I've shown. Thanks for watching. Uh, if, you know, curious to hear your thoughts, what you got out of this. Leave a comment down below. Um, you know, what's, what's a benchmark you wanna hit in a year, two years, five years, whatever it is, you know, face whatever setbacks. Don't break your shoulder. I would not recommend it. It was a terrible time. I had to do coding interviews while literally lifting one hand back and forth with the mouse. Setbacks, I think, make us stronger. I think the broken shoulder and the sprained ankle and the shin splints really made me more aware of mobility on that. So have a good one. Would love to hear your thoughts again. And I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. See you next week.